Greetings my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a cake that requires no oven and uses the clutch ingredient of all clutch ingredients, condensed milk. I'm going to be making a squishy condensed milk cake. So big thanks to Edward for DMing me with a link to this recipe and I will put that link down below. It comes from a YouTube channel called Savory Easy. So let's go ahead and make this, shall we? First we have to separate three eggs. So, and I'm going to do that today with this lovely gadget and this is called Mr. Bogey. Um, is it called Mr. Bogey? Boogeyman. This lovely tool that was sent to me by lovely Melissa. Melissa, thank you so much. This is Boogeyman. And he separates eggs by cracking the egg in the top and you get to pour the whites out of his nostrils. Isn't that lovely? Perfect. Crack a beautiful egg into his head. Boop. Pour the whites out of his nostrils. Here we go. <laughs> yes, it's happening. Ooh, poor Mr. Boogeyman coming right out of his nose. A little bit slow, I have to say. Maybe they can make the nostril openings a little larger. Oh my gosh, my kids love this. Although if it was bum related, they'd be even more excited. I don't know what it is exactly, but my oldest in particular is just finds bum humor just so funny. I have a hard time with it, honestly. I just don't find it funny. I never have bombs, poop. It takes a while, to be honest. There's still a lot of boogies in here. Come on, boogie man. That is pretty great though. So the slippery thinner part of the white comes out pretty easily, but the thicker part it's having a harder time with. So I'm gonna do some intervention here and I'm gonna use my impeccably clean hands as Julia recommends. I'm guessing Boogeyman comes from the tradition of Toby jugs, which in the UK are these kind of anthropomorphized jugs, kind of like caricatures. I think that's what Boogeyman kind of nods to. To my three egg yolks, I'm going to add 300 grams of condensed milk. It's about three quarters of a can or one cup. Oh yes. Who knew you could make so many wonderful things using condensed milk? You can make no churn ice cream. Whoa. You can make five minute lemon pie. Whoa. It's just, it's amazing stuff. You can make dulce de leche, which looks amazingly easy. I haven't done that one yet, what? but beat that all together. Oh, look at those yolks, they're so beautiful. One teaspoon of vanilla. Boop, 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 boop. And a quarter cup or 50 grams of softened butter. Ooh, I'm gonna save a little bit of this, just a little smear of this for later. Work that all in. Oh, it smells so good already. Next, we're gonna add 125 grams of flour or one cup of flour. Beep, 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 beep. 25 grams or three tablespoons of cornstarch. Boop, boop. If any of you are curious, I went ahead and weighed these rather than using volume measure. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, and a half teaspoon of salt. We're gonna mix this until it's just combined. Not too much effort in here. So that's a really simple, easy technique. Just turn it with your whisk and then kind of shake it so it kind of falls through the tines. Do you call the wiry things on a whisk. Do you call those tines? I don't know. That's, I know that's what you call them on a fork. What do you call them for a whisk? I don't know. Now we're gonna beat up the egg whites to a medium stiff peak and I'm just using a hand mixer here. You could do this with a whisk as well. Okay, I think we're there. I'm concerned about deflating all of my egg whites so I'm gonna add some of it to this and mix it that way first, because this is such a stiff batter that it needs to be loosened first. That noise in the background is just my water coming up to temperature. We're gonna steam this cake rather than baking it, because it might be surprising to a lot of people that live in the West, but many people do not have ovens in their homes. In Japan, for example, when I lived there, no one really had an oven. There are often microwave combination ovens Never seen that before, but amazing. So your microwave oven 
also can bake incredible. So you may find small ovens, but not like the full-size turkey size ones you find here in the US. Yeah. Not to say that there's not exceptions. People do have them, but they're not ubiquitous. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of the egg white. So up and over, up and over. Finally the last bit of that. Next I've got an 8 inch cake pan and I've cut a piece of parchment to fit into the bottom and the parchment kind of wants to bow up and I remember Jacques Pepin teaching this little technique. You take a little bit of butter, which I reserve, and rub it into the bottom of the pan and then stick your parchment in there and it should lay down nicely. Yay! Now we're going to cover this in foil. and place this in a steamer and steam it at medium high for 45 minutes and then we will have a squishy condensed milk cake. We've already seen a little bit. All right, my lovelies, I am back with the condensed milk cake and it looks great. So it took exactly 45 minutes, just like instructed. I took a toothpick and I checked for doneness. I took it out of the steamer and let it cool for about 15 minutes before I unmolded it. Just took a butter knife and loosened the perimeter and then I flipped it over onto a plate. And here is the beautiful cake. It rose beautifully, and you definitely have to line the bottom of the pan with parchment paper because the batter tends to stick. Even on the sides, mine stuck a bit. Super simple, super easy, and you didn't need an oven. And now I can't wait to give this a taste and then give it a squish, because that's really what this is about, right? The squishy, of a cake. <laughs> right. It feels very moist. What is it about that word that people have such an aversion to? It's clear that I don't have an aversion to the word. Okay, so cut all the way down. Yay! It turned out great! Okay, let's give the slice a cake. A squish! Here we go. Squish, squish. Squish, squish, look at it squish. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's give this a taste. Itadakimasu. Hmm. It's fluffy and light and airy and has the texture of an angel food cake and about the same kind of sweetness too. It has a dairied quality to it. Not surprising, we have condensed milk in it and it tastes rich, but not heavy. It's kind of similar to texture of, say when I made my jiggly cheesecake, it has a very fluffy, light texture, but that had a lot more butter in it. And so that tasted richer, more like a pound cake. Mmm. So it has a light and fluffy texture, but not only that, it has a little bit of a bounce to it too. So although it does look like a cake, when you look at the crumb, it's bouncier than a typical cake. Very similar to other steamed breads or steam cakes in that sense. It's not an oily kind of moisture, it's steamed. <laughs> oh, Emmy, you're just so um, articulate sometimes, aren't you? Oh, God. So there you have it. That is the condensed milk squishy cake. Big thanks again to Edward for DMing me with the recipe. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video. Subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye.